Hi guys, this is Jake with Think Free Live Free. I've had a lot going on uh, in the last um, two weeks, so I haven't been able to post in the last two weeks. I have arrived in California. Um, I'm helping my wife uh, with the house here as well. I've had very little time to work on the van um, as this is taking priority right now. Uh, but I'm, I am ready to um, put my batteries together and uh, today I just want to show you how I'm going to top balance it. There are 3.2 volt cells, prismatic lithium iron phosphate batteries um, that I ordered from China in February. And uh, it took about two and a half months for them to get here. So um, I did finally receive them. Um, so I'm going to just show you an unboxing here and then I'm going to top balance them. I got eight of these. I'm gonna do a 24 volt battery, put them in series. So it's gonna be a 24 volt battery at 310 amps. As you can see there, it's 3.2 volt LiFo cells, capacity 310 amp hour. Got these from Basin Technology in China. I've read um, really good reviews on this company. Okay, so with all the cells, um, they also provided bus bars. Um, they're pretty thick bus bars. So I got four bus bars with, uh, with four cells. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my LiFo batteries into parallel. They're currently at 3.3 volts. I'm going to try to get them up to 3.65. But also, as you put them in parallel, they will uh, balance in a couple of days. I'm going to be charging at 10 amps. For uh, people out there that haven't used one of these, um, basically, you're, you're going to want to set your voltage first, and then uh, you will set your amps. But you want to do all that before you connect it to anything. So you want to have that stuff set up and not touch any of these dials um, as the batteries are charging because it, it will not display on here um, if you change anything afterwards. If you do adjust your, your voltage or your amps, make sure to take the alligator clips off so that you can actually see what it's adjusting to. It's just safer that way. It, it, uh, and also, you know, you, you don't run into the risk of frying your batteries um, if the voltage is much higher than it needs to be. To get the amps, you do have to short these out. Um, so you have to put the, the alligator clips together. So, so as you can see there right now, there's, it says nothing on the amps. I've already set the amps to 10 amps, but I'm gonna connect these two. And you'll see, now you can see that it's set at 10 amps. Um, so you do have to short these out to get the amp reading. And then you don't want to touch anything on there um, after it's set up and ready to connect to your batteries. So this is just a very simple top balancing. Um, they're at about 3.3 volts uh, state of charge at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to test the first cell. As you can see there, Three point three, three point two nine, and the last one three point two nine. I'm gonna put four cells um, into parallel and get that up to three point six five volts, and then I will do the other four cells.
Uh, by the way, if you have a similar battery, um, it's a 10 millimeter socket. Four cells now in parallel at 3.2 volts. And uh, next thing I'm going to do is set the voltage to 3.65 and the amps at 10 amps. I'm going to connect the negative on this side and the positive on this side for the power supply. So I'm going to connect my black wire, connect my positive. The voltage is set at 3.65 and the amps it is drawing right now 4.973 amps and this also has the watts so it's currently charging at 18 watts and as this gets closer to 3.65 the amps should drop to almost zero and uh, we'll know that it's fully charged. Uh, since I didn't have enough bus bars, the ideal thing would be to have enough bu bus bars and connect this whole battery, but um, I think I'm just going to do it like this. I think it will be a, a, a quicker charge as well. When I install my BMS, I'll show you that as well. I'll also leave a link in the description for the Benstop charger. Um, I think it was only like $60 on Amazon and it got really good reviews. So. Uh, if that's something that you're interested in, uh, check out the link. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe. I'm going to be going a lot more into solar and uh, battery builds um, with my van, but also I plan on uh, purchasing land soon. And uh, I'll definitely be doing off-grid solar um, on the properties. If you have any questions or comments, um, please please leave them in the description. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you on your on uh, some of your battery builds. Um, I'll be get, getting a lot more into it, um, but as I said, I don't have uh, a lot of time right now for to work on my van. Um, but I am going to be starting to do certain things to get my electrical up and running. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, take care. Bye.